Hi, it's the guys over at Fixit99.com. One of the most common questions we get asked is, how can I make my computer faster? Well, there's many different ways to make your computer faster, but today we decided to give you a quick tip on how to adjust it by yourself. Built into all operating systems, there's a performance function that Windows loads by default. This can be found in the My Computer section. So if we want to go ahead and click the Start button and go to Computer and then right-click on it and go to Properties, it's going to bring up an Advanced Settings tab. Let's go ahead and click Advanced Settings and it'll go ahead and release another window called Performance. In here is all the visual effects, processing, graphics, etc. that Windows uses. Let's go ahead and click the Settings button. And once we go in here, we're going to go ahead and notice that by default it says let Windows choose what's best for my computer. Now you have to ask yourself, why do we want Windows to choose what's best for my computer? It truly really doesn't know how we behave, it doesn't know what we need it for, etc. Let's go ahead and look at just some of the default options that are set. For example, fade or slide menus, enable glass transparency, auto desktop composition, things that we never actually will benefit from. So if we notice, there's an option up here to adjust for best performance. Well, let's go ahead and choose best performance. That's what we're looking for. That's what we want to do today. We go ahead and choose adjust for best performance, and then also look around and see if there's anything else we need. Personally, I like to leave the use visual styles, which will keep the same theme consistent. I also like to use drop shadows on the icon labels. This gives them a clear, transparent background. And another important thing is show thumbnails instead of icons. So if you're viewing a folder or pictures, it'll show actual thumbnails versus the icons. Everything else, pretty much, you don't need. It slows down the graphical processing of your PC. Once you're all set, just go ahead and click the OK button. It may take a minute or two for it to process. Each system's different. And once it's done, it'll return you back to the System Properties screen. At that point, you can just click OK again. As you notice, nothing's really changed from a graphical perspective. But, indeed, now it's optimized to run a little bit faster. So we're just going to go ahead and close out of this, and we are good to go. That is a quick tip on how to optimize and change your performance settings on a Windows 7 system. Thank you.